Chloe, and this is Miss Terry with the Corkles and Fiddlebrook series. Hi, Chloe. You know what time of year it is? It's fall. You know what that means? Science! That's right, Chloe. And today we're going to do an activity from Gilbert Gass in the Corkles series. We're going to be using dry ice. Miss Terry, I can't touch dry ice because I'm just a kid. You're right, Chloe. That's why I have rubber gloves, and we always wear gloves when we're touching dry ice because it can burn you. In my container, I've already put dry ice. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour water in here. Ooh. Oh, what do you think there, Chloe? Looks nice. It does. Dry ice is carbon dioxide in the solid form. And that's really fun, but Chloe, don't you think we can do something better? So Chloe, in your tub, I have made a bubble solution. Just Dawn dishwashing liquid and water. Now what I would like for you to do is just to put your funnel into the solution and let's see if we can make some ghost bubbles. Oh my goodness, cool. that's very cool. Those are ghost bubbles, now take your finger Ah, oh, very good. Try it, Chloe, because you can touch it when it's in the bubble form like that. Take your finger. Whoa, very good. It turned from a solid to a liquid to a gas. We're going to see if we can catch a bubble. Put your socks on your hands. If you don't have gloves, you can always use a pair of socks. Hear that eerie sound? It does sound like a ghost. Whoa, very cool. If you want to have just a more traditional Halloween potion, Chloe, pour some water. Oh, very good. There's no better time for dry ice than Halloween. And for some more Quirkles experiments, check us out on YouTube or our website, Quirkles.com. Chloe? Are you excited for Halloween? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.